Welcome back to the Sinking City, guys. So this isn't actually where the stream started, uh, for people watching on YouTube. Um, <coughs> but I realised I was completely out of resources, so, uh... <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. So I came to the, uh, usual grinding location, if you didn't know where that was. That's, uh, that's on the map here, just, just below, uh... This is the, uh, Devil's Reef Hotel, you just go down here. And you, you can grind in here, um... I'm going to briefly show anyone who doesn't know how to grind, I'm going to show you. Basically what you do is you, you run in here, you search this locker here, you run round the back, do not worry about the enemies because even if you do take a hit, you are getting enough resources where you can uh, heal. Then after you drop through the hole, you go downstairs, there will be a locker here search that that gives you yet even more resources and uh, you run out and when you run outside and run around the car the interior of that's completely reset so you can just keep doing that repeatedly 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 until you fucking just you know your inventory's fucking maxed out on shit essentially um, so we're, we're good we're good to keep going um, so I'm gonna mention what I uh, mentioned before that uh uh, I'm kind of looking at my desk in, like, disbelief of being like, man, I, I need to clean this shit, but, uh... Um, I have, I have this problem, it's called, uh, cannot be ass syndrome. Um, I work quite a lot, so... I, I, I basically, it's just a case of... Uh, I'll get to it when I get to it, kind of thing. Um, anyway, uh, so, we, uh... God damn, this game is fucking dark. I almost need to rebalance the uh, the brightness for the stream just because it gets so fucking dark. I kind of like the uh, the game being uh, dark, but in the interests of the stream, I'm just boosting the brightness slightly because I've noticed on YouTube it's coming out really dark, um, which is which is good because I mean it's actually important because this game is supposed to be fucking atmospheric, which it fucking is so I don't want to boost it too much because the kind of point is it is meant to be dark visually and in tone um, anyway we're gonna look uh, so we got um, what's this who gave me this case but Damage beyond repair, and it's our duty to preserve what's left of them. Oh, this would be the one I just found random. Yeah, I found this one randomly in the world. We're not going to do that yet. And um, same with this one we've had for a while. Um, I do want to look into this, but I want to progress some of the main story in this. Uh, Okay, my friend told me he knows Yuri's Alright, Doe, the leader. What's up, tradition? Is he, he won't tell me the location until I arrange safe passage for him out of the city. He's just using the smuggling. He believes the smugglers communicate. Advertisements. Salvation Harbor. Here we go. Oh, right, yes. Okay, so. <clears throat> Before we left last time, we looked this up in the newspaper, didn't we? I remember. So we need to find this on the map. Salvation Harbour. Is this it? Did I already find the location on the map? Yes, I did. So this this is actually where we're going. So uh, last time I had actually had the foresight to be like, Hey, uh, this gives me a direction to go next time. So, I, I love it when I think ahead. Um, we're going to go here. Be the easiest location to get there, I think. Possibly. Would be, could be, maybe, should be. I, I, I don't know. Um, I know this game has a Tommy gun. I definitely want to lock that piece of shit. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister? 
What's really odd, right, is they're like, um, printing newspapers, and look how fucking wet it is out here, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's fucking, I mean, I come from England where it rains a lot, but, um, sorry, drinking my drink. Uh, thirsty. Um, good, good old Dr. Pepper, eh? Um, which is originally invented as a, uh, revitalization tonic, or a cure-all tonic. I'm, I'm Maybe it was a cure all tonic? I don't know. It was one of those fucking bullshit miracle cures, you know, snake all fucking salesmen and all that shit. But, um, I mean, it tastes good. Definitely not good for you, though. It's definitely not good for you. But to note, most people, like, so, <coughs> Americans have this thing about England where they think that it fucking, you know, it's constantly raining. And they'd be right. Because it does rain a fuck ton in England. Um, it's not. It's not to uh, say we don't get uh, times where we don't get rain. Like we we've uh, been known to get droughts in the summer, and especially uh, especially where I come from in England, it does get very fucking humid to say the least. Um, Jesus, where are we? Okay. It does get very humid. Um, so yeah, we do get droughts and stuff, just, just as you guys get them over in America. Um, but more importantly, <coughs> something I've noticed about living in a... <coughs> excuse me. Something I've noticed about living in Ohio is, is when, when you guys get fucking rain in, like, the States, you get this, like, fucking torrential downpour. I'm not even fucking joking. When it rains over here, it fucking rains. And whilst, yes, in England it does rain a lot, Stop it. it's just this horrible shitty drivel, uh, like drizzle, essentially. Is this always here? Right, anyway, we're looking for uh, a bar. Let's have a look. This place? We're looking for a place called the Seven Oaks Bar. Oh, look. It might be this big fucking thing here with Seven Oaks written on it. Established in 1685, so it's been fucking open a while. 1685? That's a fucking old-ass bar. I, I, that's like, I, I wonder, how, how old is America, technically? I don't know me American history, I'm afraid. Hey, he's an innsmouther. Right. Hey, boys. Is this got the same design as the fucking bar from the beginning of the game? You think I'd do it and wouldn't notice? Yeah, there's a missing hole in the wall. There should be a fucking door up here. Same, same. Same setup. Same setup. Well, technically, I suppose the other bar copied this one since this was established in 1685! Right. Okay, so we need to uh, probably have a chat with somebody. This guy looks like a vibe. Farewell. Look and leave the city. A uh, little bird told me there are people in Oakmont who can help me leave town. Maybe, maybe not. What makes you think I know anything? You're the fucking barman. You know everything. I've heard they're having a wake for Toothless Bob here. That may be true, but I don't know you from Adam. Prove you ain't some gumshoe. I don't think that's the correct fucking option there, but we'll try. Come on, you can trust me. Ask Mr. Throgmorton. He can vouch for me. <laughs> if you think I'll trust you just because you were doing business with that ape, then you've got another thing coming. All right. But you're still alive. That means you've got something going for you. Okay. Oh, good. What about a little favor? Nothing fancy, don't worry. I expected a package to be delivered ages ago, but the courier still hasn't shown. 
Find out what's taken him so long. Here's the address. Got it. One more thing. If you don't find him, bring the package back, will ya? It's a crate full of the water of life if you catch my drift. Hey, you look at the Irish, do you? Bye. Yeah. Deep fucking Christ. Accents, guys, accents. You might be a little bit Irish. I'm not sure what gave it away. Um. Maybe a range of medium and smuggles. Finding out. Missing. Visiting a house. Missing Brookhaven Bay, eh? So it's somewhere over here, and uh, where is Levin Coffin? Not far. So it's gonna be somewhere here. Hang on, no. I'm crossing Avenue, not far from the crossroads of Marshall. So it could be a couple of places, essentially. It could either be down here or it could be up here. So it's gonna be one of these. So we're gonna try here first. Uh, and I don't think. Yeah, we don't need that. <coughs> we don't need that. We can travel here, I think. Yeah. We've got a plan, guys. You know what I mean? Like... A semi decent one. So we got here. Here we go. Travel right here. Yeah, sorry it is taking a while to get back to this game, but a little game called EDF five came out. Um and you guys ever heard of it? EDF five's fantastic. Oh god, here we go. Fucking bullshit. Are you telling me you delivered a package and something went wrong? I wonder fucking what. Fucking shit. Right, I know we ran right past it, but I want to check up here first. Hopefully it's here, because this place is a bit safer. If it's not, then, well... It may be worth it just to get some combat. Oh, is this it? Please be it. This looks like it could be it. Oh, here we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we found it. Um, so it was actually the opposite side. Which is good. Because um, that area was dangerous as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Cock up here. Oh. Oh, shit. oh for fuck's sake. Hey, these little bastards. I also hate the fact that there's sort of like an auto aim. It's kind of annoying, is what it is. The reason it's so fucking annoying. So, anyone who who basically plays a game without 
a controller. If you're using mouse and keyboard to play this, like, all the way when you're using controller is good because you kind of just point in the general direction and it, it kind of locks on. Like, it'll just, it'll just move slightly. Which is actually really useful when you're playing with controller. When you're playing with a mouse, it is the most fucking annoying thing in the world. Because, like, you have high dexterity with a mouse. It's really easy to, like, fucking aim at that wheel, to aim at that fucking light. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's really easy to, like, kind of get your twitch aim on kind of thing and, like, aim very precisely. The uh, the problem with having all the aim with a mouse is um, as soon as you see your like your crosshair isn't in the in the dead center of where you're gonna be aiming, you kind of um, <coughs> this is an issue with uh, third person games. Uh, essentially, when you fucking shit, there's somebody here. Where is he? Essentially, like when you basically have. Um, a third person, and you don't see the, uh, the aiming reticle. So w as soon as the aiming reticle comes up, you automatically aim up to the enemy, right? Because that's what you do mentally. It's how you've played games for fucking years. But when there's a fucking auto aim, the auto aim <laughs> switches to the enemy anyway. So what happens is you get this fucking thing where the game aims for you, but because you're trying to aim as well, you end up overshooting the enemy because you move as you lock on. Does that make sense? Um, I'm sure a lot of people who play PC games have probably experienced that in the past, but, like, it's, there's nothing here in the fucking options. Uh, hey. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> so, yeah, um, apparently there is, uh, an aim assist in the... I can't remember that being there. So is that definitely off now? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Because uh, aim assist sucks balls, guys. It sucks balls. I hate it. Can't carry any more ammo. <laughs> we'll see about that, sir. Uh, we just used a bit of ammo, so guess what we're going to do. There we go. Man. Guess what, guys? I can pick this shit up now. <coughs> right, um... So there's, those enemies generally die in one fucking hit with the uh, the revolver, revolver being the more powerful pistol variant. Uh, for, for anyone, any, any of you who don't know, basically like the, this shit in here is like the standard lineup for like uh, the Cthulhu tabletop. Is where you got like the fucking the handgun, the revolver, the shotgun, and then there's like a fucking Tommy gun. And this is pretty much just the standard lineup for most games. Can't carry more traps. I don't know why I said it's so strange, but. Uh, Anyway, we're meant to be looking around this environment for the courier, or at least evidence here thereof. Um, obviously, um, he had a run-in with some wild beasts, it looks like. Um, I don't think there's anything on this floor, at least. We could drop down to this floor, but I think the, the way downstairs is open anyway. Is there an upstairs as well? Yes, there is. Uh, we'll check downstairs first. What's this? Roman on the servants of the spider god. Is that a fucking movie or stage play? Did they even have movies? Oh, they had movies back in the 30s. What am I kidding about? Left by something heavy with wheels. It could be a mobility scooter. No spookums down here, is there? Okay. There's something there or something. Metal scrap, damn useful shit. The blood's almost dry. This means it's been here a while. Wow, if it's almost dry, it... actually, blood dries pretty quickly. Empty, but reeks of gasoline. A gas can that reeks of gasoline. Hmm, how intuitive. Oh, this room. I've seen ashes like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse. 
didn't really get rid of the corpse, so did it? It's still here. I've seen ashes like this before. Well, okay, okay, Reed. Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you stop freaking out, please, Reed? We're okay. The gravy, son. Don't worry about it. The blood. So there's. Yeah, also. Invisible walls! That's a, that's a really cool ability. I'd love I'd love to be able to make fake walls in my apartment using fucking some cult madness shit. Oh well, that'll be what the uh, barman wanted, right? So he, he he was basically brewing this shit here by the looks of it. And this is obviously the scene reconstruction. We're not going to do that just yet. I don't I don't know why we need to reconstruct the scene. I mean, basically all we really wanted was the fucking uh, package, right? I mean, that's all he really gives a shit about. Is he going to fucking really fucking care that uh um It's a fucking weird one. I need to change that. I don't like E being melee bash. I mean, it's not like a fucking huge problem, don't get me wrong, but it's, uh... I know, whenever I have a melee bash, I prefer it to be, like, the uh, the mouse 4 button, which is, like, my, th my you know, the thumb thing on the side. I, I just prefer that. I feel it makes more sense to have all the attack-related things on, like, the mouse. I could, I could be just on my, uh... That theory. Oh, the alcohol. Man, fucking... I ever see alcohol in this game now, it's just reminding me of the fucking... Shit in... Call of Cthulhu game. That game's not bad, it's just... Uh, it could have been a lot better. <laughs> could have been a lot better. Th this game is basically everything that that game's not. This game's way better. But um, I'll prove that at some point and play through it. So you, you, you guys will see me play that through as well. Um, which is good because I can't fucking remember what happens in it. So what's this? You're done, kid. Someone talks to the cops behind my back. Their history. Get him, boys. You gonna beat up a cripple? Jurok. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? No mercy, boys. He's been asking for this. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Time to figure this out. So, uh, I believe it's this one. You're done, kid. This one. No mercy, boys. This one. Get rid of him. And then they Leave tried nothing but ashes. And then they Understood. tried to get the crate, right? Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? This one. Jurok. Who's I? You're done, kid. No mercy, boys. He's been asked. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Someone okay. was looking for a crate here and was brutally killed. The crew that did it were headed up by a guy in a wheelchair. Kind of interesting that whenever he uses that ability, essentially, essentially drives him a little bit nuts. Okay. Area clean, boys. We are going, uh... Probably through the infected area. Holy balls! Ain't got time for your shit. Infected area, really? I never noticed. Hey, hey guys, don't go in there. That place sucks. Right, uh, we're gonna go back to here. I have to say, I do, I do like the... Uh, Bad shot. You get around really real quick. If I if I was uh, playing this and not 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 streaming it, um, 
there's a good chance I would be fucking walking everywhere because I'm that kind of player. I don't. I, if, even if fast travel is an option, I normally don't use it. Um, just because I like to take the world in. But um, I kind of like with the amount of time I have to play games now, I kind of have to use something I don't like using. So, eh. Man, I got tall. It's because I'm still on that shit at the birth. Um. Oh, I'm gonna tell him. <sighs> well, I found your courier. I hate to break it to you, but he's dead. Someone didn't like him talking to the cops, and well, they made it pretty savage. Ah, oh, okay, I'm dead. He might think I was in on it. He? Who's he? The boss. I'm gonna help this guy out. Is there anything I can do to help? Nay, hey, I'll handle it. But take my advice. The boss is the only man who can arrange a bon voyage. Don't do anything to make him unhappy. There, a newcomer. Here's the note with your instructions. Beyond that, you're on your own. Okay, thanks. Here's your water of life. Shh, keep it down, pal. Not too shabby, newcomer. You deserve a reward for this. Woohoo! Bye. Hey, hey, I got ammo I can't fucking carry. I, lo I love ammo I can't marry. Fucking. He's a ruthless tyrant, apparently. Um, skills. this one? Oh, improve damage. Okay, so I improve the damage on that one. Six more. So I don't. I definitely want these ones. Um. I kind of like the skills. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not too. Uh, there, there are some which are. Um, like I got the XP one. Saying saying that that's yeah. Doesn't really... Uh. So you would think this would be worth taking early on, but like the quest rewards, um, I don't know. They're just. I mean, does it include XP? Um, I guess it would. I mean, some some of this stuff's okay. This stuff's not as important to me. Um, I, I feel like carrying more ammo and shit is way more important. And, uh... <laughs> Like this, this obviously would be useful at some point. Melee attacks, probably useful. That's not really fucking useful at all. I can't, I can't imagine me spending much time in the fucking water, or at least not. Um, you're not really fucking supposed to, anyway. Um, let's put it anyway. Um. So what's this? Pretty murdered apparently while the crate hidden behind the wall. Killers were led by a wheelchair, it appears. He was murdered for cooperating with the police. Ali on Mingle Ave. Question What does one do with a dog? Answer the dog is rabid, so it must be killed. Okay. Southern, so it's down here somewhere. Where's Windmill Ave? So there's an alley on Windmill Ave somewhere. So there's an alley around here somewhere. Or 
probably quickest way would be here. We got a plan, boys. We, we, we's gonna... It's gonna go here. I wonder if we could just fucking leave. Is that an option? That'd be fucking great if that was the case. We're going to uh, manually save. Can't really save. Except. Yes, it did. This game saves really fucking quickly. It's kind of a. Uh, makes me question whether it saved at all, you know what I mean? And yes, I'm one of these boring players that's wearing the, uh, the, the outfit designed for the character. Mainly because um, in the cutscenes is what he's wearing, so why the fuck wouldn't I wear it? I got it on for continuity. I, d I do love the music in this game, I have to say. Um, it's just kind of more an ambient thing. Um, it never really evolves into an actual soundtrack almost, if that makes any sense. It's just kind of an atmospheric track, and I really like that. Much like if you've uh, played the original um, uh, Quake. So there's an alleyway on here somewhere. The question is... Is where? I mean, would the fucking alleyway be in the fucking water? What sense does that make, you know what I mean? No, it looks like we're going to have to get on the boat. No, it's got to be there. We are on Windmill Avenue, right? On Windmill Avenue, so this is definitely Windmill Avenue. Between Octopus... Skipper Road, so it's gotta be here. We're just missing it. Where the fuck is that alleyway? This is the only thing that looks like an alleyway. And it's blocked. I haven't seen a fucking alleyway anywhere, have you? It's definitely not there. So what... What am I missing? So I'm missing something, and I don't know what it is. This way's too far. Oh, here we go. Hey, fella. What do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? 
I'd kill it, because the dog's rabid. Right you are. You're a new one, huh? Commodos. Well, he is the contact. Just take me to your boss. Yeah. What evidence? Wasn't even looking for the fucking evidence. It's weird. Smugglers hideout. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. What a fucking prick. Who are you, and what the drop do you want? Let's be quick about it, kid. I don't have the whole damn day. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Heard you can help with, uh, certain things. <laughs> so you want a favor from me, Mr. Reed? And what would that be? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. Yeah, a lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, <laughs> it won't be cheap. <sighs> so, what's it gonna cost me? Normally, I wouldn't do drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old ape lover, Throgmorton. I think that's interesting. That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now, I have a job needs doing. But it needs to stay between the two of us. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter. Rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing. Someone tried to kill me a week ago. Oh, you're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill them anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why? Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled-up carpet. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. And I was covered in this weird rancid slime. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home made me think I had a screw loose. Y and yeah, me and what a lot of people. See? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face and walking out my front door like all was well with the world. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. So if he's got a doppelganger, how do I know I'm not speaking to the doppelganger? Or is that the point? You know what I mean? Like Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know who's who, so um hmm. He said he was covered in a rancid slime, which means he could have been grown. Oh, fucking no. Stinking out loud. What was your last memory before the crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what. Except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary's still in your manor. Exactly, kid. In a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. 
You must have tried to do something about this imposter already. Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking for your help if this was just a walk in the park. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? Boy, a lot of people. Must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. Hmm. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer after all. Here's the address. I got it. It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair, unlike many people, has never crossed me. So I know I can count on it if I need to. You mentioned your son, Graham. Can you tell me more about him? Graham? Why would you care? He has nothing to do with this. You sound pretty sure about that. Of course. Graham is too honest. And since the end of the war, he turned into a real bleeding heart. It's become a bit of a headache, actually. Of course, we've had our differences. Especially about the family business. But he would never hurt a fly. Let alone me. Goodbye. Right, we're going to leave this open for now just in case we discover anything else. Um, but I don't think he's going to change. I think he's going to be a... Like, he just seems like the type who's just... I'm a means to an end. Um, we're going to see how that plays out. Because he, he, he fucking ruthlessly beat and burned the guy. So... I can't say that my character's doing much better certain things, but... But maybe it's... I don't know. So this is the thing, is he has a doppelganger, so it could be in the doppelganger we saw, maybe. I don't fucking know. Whoa! What gives? How are we? How do I get out of this hole? That is fucking shit. Right, um... Smuggler's hideout. Key evidence collected. I didn't even fucking search that place though, did I?
Let's go and check the obituaries. It's a long shot, but I'm interested to see if we find anything. There's a couple of places we could check. We could check. Uh, I don't. We could check three blips. So we could check. So, like this mysterious like corpse turning up. We could check the police station. Newspaper and the hospital. She no, rolled up in a carpet. Let's let's just check. I'm 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 curious. I don't think we're gonna find anything. But we're gonna have a look nonetheless. We have a look nonetheless, just because. Um. Fuck it. Right. But no, like... Jack White, that, it seems very specific. I saw you pop in, don't think I didn't. Is this it? No, it's not. Chronicle. Fucking... Who put that barrier there? Looks more like a cinema than it does a fucking newspaper. Stay safe. You too. Oh, look. Um. So anyway, so it's in, um... Reed Heights. Is he an official? It's a commoner, I guess. I don't think we're gonna find anything with that. It was worth a shot. So I would say, like, officially, like. Because I doubt they'd have reported on that officially, would they? Check back later just in case we haven't got any more evidence or whatever to go on. Um, but for now, for now, um, what do we think the best course of action is? Is it search the manor or crematorium? Let's start from the beginning because he, he said he was did something with his diary first. And now I feel like I give her something to go on before we go to the crematorium, right? Um. So it's in Old Grove, we know that. Southern. Come to Manor, Southern Old Grove. Goldbridge Road. 
in Sentry Hillside. So it will be here somewhere. Let's go. To the back cave. Right. Is it this street? It is the next street. Apparently I got turned around. This way. Yes. And we're looking for a... <laughs> well that looks like a fucking man out of me, holy shit! Workers are permitted on the premises. I'm looking for work. I heard you might have a job. Sure. There's a sack of potatoes in the basement of the manor. Go get it. Bring it here, okay? Got it. Get a move on there. You're handing out supplies for free. That seems awful charitable. Mr. Carpenter is a pillar of our community generously donating half of our supplies to the people of Oakmont in their time of need. I could use some supplies, if you can spare them, that is. Here, take some medicine. Thanks. You're welcome. It seems awfully suspicious. Bye. Let's get a sack of potatoes. Right. Now we got free reign in the place. No, we can do this first. Not so fast, newcomer. You ain't going upstairs unless the boss calls for you. And I don't see that happening. Uh. Probably not a good idea. It's probably not a good idea, is it? My suspicions tell me that maybe his son's not as innocent as he thinks he is. Think about it, you can place your dad and... Oddly suspicious, isn't it?
Hmm. Okay, well, let's go in the basement and get the bag of potatoes and progress that way. Let's raid the shit. Also, see if I got like everything. Max, 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 Max everything. <laughs> okay. Sub basement. These look like potatoes, but not the potatoes we need, I guess. Carry any more of that. Potatoes. So, where are the potatoes? Really? Must be an Irishman, the fucking great potato thief here. Yeah, I fuck it. Uh, now we're checking the basement first. Okay, maybe we're not checking the basement first. Fucking sub basements and shit. The spookum vision. Let me guess upstairs. No. said fucking great potato thief here. Maybe it was that guy from the bar. Maybe he needs it to make his fucking uh, hokey bathtub moonshine. about me, I'm just, you know, shooting bitches. Ah, please, friend. Don't take away my food. Your food? This is stolen. This sack was meant to go to the hungry. We are the hungry, mister. M me and my family. I have five children to feed and nothing to feed them with. And look, we'll starve to death without it. Have a heart. <sighs> I don't get it. You can have food for free. The carpenters are distributing it. So why steal? They'd only give me one portion. Even though I told them that my wife and kids are too weak to get here. Don't worry, I... I get it. Look, uh, hang on to the sack for now. I'll try to work something out for you, okay? Oh, oh thank you, mister. K bless you. You're a lifesaver. Just don't go anywhere. I'll be back soon. I was joking about the potato thief being fucking Irish, but fucking Christ. Like, my God. Like, fucking Lovecraftian racism again. 
Fucking Irish potato thieves, guys. I don't think this is gonna go well. There's a, a minor issue. What? what? What issue? Well, the sack was stolen by one of your workers. I tracked him down so he's not going anywhere, but I'm trying to decide what to do with him. Damn thieves, may I take them? I'm sure your boss would want to know about it, but I can see you're pretty busy. Tell you what, I'll go talk to him for you. Uh, you're right. I'm needed here. Vera, go see Mr. Graham Carpenter and report the incident. He's upstairs. Perfect. You don't get these for staying in your foxhole. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Goodbye. Let's, um, talk to this dude first, before we do that. Mr. Carpenter? Yes, Graham Carpenter. How can I help? One of your workers is a thief. Stole a sack of potatoes. Oh. I do hope my people haven't taken it into their own hands. Not yet. Is... is there a way to solve this peacefully? Guy has a hungry family. That's why he stole. I won't punish a man for trying to feed his family. Why didn't he simply ask me for more food? Tell him he can keep what he stole. If he needs more, let him come back. It may be that he'll need medicine, too. Can you give him this? It's not much, but it'll help. Uh, no offense, but... Why such generosity all of a sudden? I mean, this distribution of supplies. I hope to set an example for the other influential families of Oakmont. Together we can make our city a better place. Besides, after the incident with the poisoned fish, people were left with nothing to eat. I had to take action to prevent starvation. Thank you. I thought Brutus was the head of the Carpenter family. Something changed? Oh, no, not at all. My father's still in charge. I've simply taken on some of his responsibilities. He's past his prime and needs more rest. A mask? Why do you wear it? A war wound. I prefer not to discuss it, if you don't mind. Goodbye. Yeah, like I said, like I'm pretty sure his son's in on it. But at the same time, I think his son's a better man than he is. He 
even even if his son did something bad, like it's it's a case of He'll have a little looky loo. Huh. The huh. fuck? Now, weren't you the one who called Robert an ape lover, Brutus? Gross! No! The plot thickens! This has been empty for years. <laughs> Seems someone believes eternal life comes in a bottle. I'm just gonna read your diary in front of you. This is okay, right? Vince. Virgil. Huh. Brutus Carpenter, I presume. Yes, that's right. Did you bring me something to eat? I'm very hungry. Um, no, sorry. Ah, well, move on then. Question is Southern Reed Heights here or is it here? Yeah, uh Right here. Okay. Uh. Creepy. <laughs> okay, see what else we can figure out.
but no, I, I uh... Hmm. Something tells me he's somewhat done this to himself. By the looks of it. That would be my guess. As he was seeking for the answer to eternal life. Either that, or um... In fact, he was an evil piece of shit, probably didn't help either. I mean, look what's going on. I mean, is it not to the benefit of the community? And isn't that what's most important right now? Although, I will say this fucking city's falling apart. But it does seem weird how everyone's staying here and hasn't tried to leave, if you ask me. Mind you, one could be the same could be said for like Chooksbury in England, really. That place is flooded, god knows how many times people still fucking live there. Maybe they like the atmosphere. It'd actually be interesting living in Chooksbury. Having a game like the Sinking CD to play because... I mean, it's kind of accurate to what that place is like. Is this place on... I think I know I'm supposed to go. It's this place over here. Yep, yep. So, crematorium's all the way at the bottom. What? Skill ball. I gotta say, I'm enjoying this game so much, I'm gonna have to go back and look at their Sherlock Holmes series. Like I, I, I never, I never played any of their Sherlock Holmes games, but this is making me want to play them. Can't go in there. Wait. Oh, hang on. Oh, look, wheelchair access.
to emphasize how interesting this fucking game actually is. Like, it looks like it's really fucking interesting, that's because it is. It looks like the only only thing we have to do is go downstairs by the looks of it. Which, I mean, I was assuming that anyway, since, um... Specifically, he woke up in the crematorium, right? So one, one would assume that we are, uh... Going down there. This reminds me a lot of a vampire. I'm, I, I didn't fin I, Did I finish that game? Yes, I did. I did finish that game. I had to think if I finished that game or not. It kind of... Because I remember I played Vampire, then I played Call of Cthulhu, which was odd because it had the same voice actor. Um, which, uh, the only thing I can remember that guy being in was uh, a little TV series called Four Wars War. Um, and he also voiced, uh, I think, Brother Barakiel in uh, Space Hulk Deathwing as well, oddly enough. Sis. I locked up left earlier today, the keys are on the table. Yes. This morning I heard wild beasts near the cemetery. Be careful. So, you know what that means? Is that fucking slime? Ugh, oh, what a stench. All of this shit. Be Resident Evil now, boys. Okay, it doesn't appear there's anything. Search that fucking coffin. Whoever held this poker has got to be covered in slime. Judging by the dried blood and the dent on this shovel, it was used as a weapon. I mean, that would have been my first inkling as well, I mean, honestly. Um... that oh it's the fucking carpet someone tried to wash the stain out but it's still slimy ah it stinks ah it reeks to high heaven what is this stuff I don't know, but something wicked this way comes. Okay, so. What by the angles is going on? Where... where am I? I need to get out of here before he comes round. Is that it? There's a one upstairs as well. It seems obvious how this one pieces together. Ah, another one for you. Pardon him first chance you get. It's urgent. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. The, this is number ah, another one. Another one for you. Pardon him first chance you get. It's urgent. Number one. <clears throat> Two, what by the angles is going on? Three. Where, where am I? Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Brutus was brought in by some group who had a deal with the crematorium worker. So Brutus woke up, knocked the guy out cold, and escaped. It's
Graham's brave enough to go against his family traditions. He really wants to change things for the better. Yeah, good figure. I need to talk to James Warren, the man who was on shift when Brutus woke up the country. He's suffering from a head injury and requires urgent treatment. So that means he will have gone to hospital. Right. So we got we got we got to go. We're going to hospital. We're gonna we're gonna search for James Warren. And we're told to look out for wild beasts when we go outside. Because apparently the fucking cemetery is full of them. Where is this on the map anyway? Fucking cemetery is. I was saying, tells me we're gonna come back here. But that being said, uh, oh yeah, sorry, we don't need uh, this piece of shit here anymore. Over we go. Now, uh. Question is, is which way is closest to the keep going this way? Fucking man eat eels. I don't give a shit about wood apparently. Okay, we're gonna go to the hospital, which was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Where's the hospital? Oh, there it is. Had a long way to go to get in the hospital. Imagine like having like emergency treatment in this fucking place is a pain in the ass. For obvious reasons, because you know. Travel by boat to hospital. Hospital of St. Mary, founded 1862. Designed by B. A. Kaplan. Every life matters. The fuck is this? What is this? I'll send whatever help I can, but there's no room here. We have our hands full. Please help us out. I'll take anything you got. This way. Stay by the fire while I try to find you some medicine. victims. And if the flood won't relent, there'll be even more. Time to figure this out. New victims. And if the flood won't relent, there'll be even This way. Stay by the fire while I try to find you some medicine. I'll send whatever help I can, but there's no room here. We have our hands full. The flood was sudden and hit the city hard. The hospital staff tried to help, but quickly ran out of room and medicine. The fuck was that about? Uh. 
That was weird. Anyway, let's have a look at my uh, skills. Um, a one. There's no point in getting the uh, the weapon once until we actually have the weapons, you know what I mean? Anyway, we're gonna go check the archives. It's fucking buff ass doctor. Subjects, patients. We need a surgery and after the flood search. James Warren, male, 35, sits in place of work, crematorium, dies in head trauma, concussion treatment, hospitalized, second floor, bed rest recommended. First floor, second floor, for James Warren. You're James Warren, right? Yeah, that's me. What do you want? I'm sick, can't you see? A week ago, a group of people brought an unconscious man to the crematorium. I need to know who those people were. What makes you think I'd know that? You got hurt that day. That's why you're in the hospital. The man you were supposed to burn knocked you out and escaped. Horse feathers. I hit my head. Fell down the stairs. You were supposed to cremate a man listed as Jack White. He escaped, and now he wants to know what's going on. So tell me, who paid you to burn a man alive? How do you know about White? I talked to him. I need names, Warren. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I say anything. I'm toast. They'll certainly kill you if they find out Jack White is still alive. I can arrange that. No, please. No, I, I didn't ask their names. They're priests, but they ain't from St. Michael's Church, that's for sure. They were talking about the Lord of the Woods or something. Maybe from an old Oakmont church? That's all I know, I swear. Where can I find this church? I don't know. Some things in this borg are best left alone. It's not much, but thanks. Wasn't that hard after all, was it? You got what you came for. Now leave me be. Bye. I can see where this case is going. What happens leads to an old man church that worships the Lord of the Words? Maybe some history books could shed light on where the church is. Okay, so we we need to go to uh We need to go to the map. Uh we need to go to the university library. Um what's this? Is this it? University Department of Medicine. Where's the fucking library? Is this it? That's where we're going. Closest place is probably here. Actually. It's actually this one. Okay. To the library, gentlemen. Let's crack this case.
go. Ah, it's fucking hot in it. Shit. Temperatures rising, guys. Temperatures rising. Uh. I. do that. They're really not fucking just the bastard. Fine. Ooh, delete the Right. Is it this way? It is this way, yes. Okay, so we're going south. It's actually so warm in here, I may have to do something about it. It's probably because I'm playing a fucking game. Drug! Sorry. Yeah. Hey, knock it off! Ice cream and soda. Sounds good. Oh, look, there's a uh, thing down here we haven't discovered. There we go, solve that problem. Oh, look at that Latin. Welcome to Oakmont University Library. Joy Hayden, can I help? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Um. I apologize for my bluntness, but can I ask you a question? Mouth? Yeah. Punishment. Long story. Again, sorry for me being so direct, but that can't be legal, can it? This looks like. It looks like torture. Legal in Oakmont. Local custom. Huh. I need to see your book catalogs. Sure. Over there. And that's it? No payment? No threatening? No favors in return? No. Library public. Knowledge for everyone. Welcome. Well, that's music to my, uh, eyes. This city doesn't look like it has much need for books, except as fuel for fires. How come the library is in such good shape? Mr. Throgmorton. Funds. Keeps everything in check. Really? Huh. I wouldn't have thought that of him. I wonder why. He says people need hope, entertainment, escapism. Now more than ever, can't imagine library without his help. Hi, Joy. She's a joy to talk to, isn't she? Ah! Ah! Ugh. Yeah, he's right. That can't be fucking legal, can it, really? Let's be honest. Oh, she did. Maybe she took another man's dick in her mouth, so they decided to sew it shut. Ooh. Ooh, opinions. <laughs> Section it will be uh history period Borrow history. Period. Section. Section. 
Dance, religion. It's fucking here somewhere. Right. What do we have, evidence wise? To an old Oakmont church. Right. So section. History. Oral history. Region. Local. There we go. Okay. A little bit of deductions there, but there we go. Another prominent Oakmont place of worship was the uh, Redemption Church. Its flock raided K as woods, the shepherd, and the lost lambs. Redemption Church was at one time the city's largest con congregation, but its influence dwindled after St. Michael's Church of the Burning Bush was founded. Redemption Church still stands Central Salvation Harbor on the Marsh Avenue between blah 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 blah. There, so we got it. Okay, um. Yet again, um. There was some random elements to that, obviously, where I'm just like, okay. What, what I knew what I was looking for, I was just having issues of uh, fuck is all this shit. James Warren, his testimony, the good. And so we're looking for central salvation. Oh, where's salvation? No, it's where is salvation? In the centre, I guess it's this place here, right? Marsh Avenue. The, it, it's this place. It that seems pretty obvious to me. Each of one of these cases takes fucking ages to solve, doesn't it? I mean, I'm not complaining. This game, this game is more than worth the fucking money. Holy shit. A speed run of this would be fantastic. Do you know what I mean? A, you could even fucking speed run the bastard thing. Uh, yeah, this is like a pretty damn old church. Oh, yeah. Just in case. We ain't mysteries to cock up. Oh. <laughs> Fucking... <sighs> Fuck that door in particular. You know what I mean? Did I just craft by pressing space? I didn't know you could do that. It's good to know. Peekaboo. Redemption Church. Right. Spookums. Fuck out my way, phone. That wall looks suspicious. You look suspicious. Oh, it's because there's no wall. It's just... No church. Order failed to seduce... 
there from his eternal life. Now we need some mercury spilled in his bedroom to make our proposal more attractive. Okay. Um, see, I'm down for, um... I'm down for giving arms to the poor, but if the church is just trying to control shit, I'm not sure what's more evil then. A fucking mobster or, I mean... Uh, would the what would the church be after? You know. Ooh. I mean, this looks surprisingly fucking evil. Oh my god! Oh hang on, this ain't- it ain't real! It's not real, Reed! Don't worry, we're good! We're gravy, sir! Just- just bear with me a moment, we'll make- we'll make you all better, okay, son? Calm down! You okay, Reed? Are you all good? We, 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 we good? Okay, we'll get you, get you all healed up. Be fine. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Lost nothing. See? You little bastards. So, a lot of it wasn't real. Some of it was, though. So, I mean, what... what That'll be one for the album, eh, Reed? Hey, go figure. So, we got- we got a case of evil church. Trying to look like regular church. Don't worry, guys! I mean, it, it, what if Christianity was like this? You know what I mean? You look at all this, but really the statues look like this, and they're just fooling people. You're worse than a big leech god. What is this? Uh, can I actually see what this is? I'm curious. Uh, I can't zoom in far enough on that. Okay, so evil church is evil. Okay. So okay, Reed, just just stay calm. But we're good. Good. Like that sanity go up there. Man, you got fucking tubby ass beer belly. Being it's not worth carrying around like full ammo because it's like you keep finding ammo. Uh. Right, so I don't like that crucifix there being in the middle. Fucking makes sense to me. Oh. This is where Father Ted and Father Doo will sleep. Some more details. 
environments feel so fucking lived in this. Little shit bag. Nice alarm clock, I'd like to have that. That's something obvious there, but around here first. Ah, now that's a familiar smell. Like your dead skunk. So you're trying to say it smells like weed down here? And you're just having a herb smoking party, that's all it is. Pre-story, I burned the seductive witch, my daughter, my cursed seed, but she came back. How long will the Almighty test my faith? She is here laughing at my weakness. Her body is not hers anymore. It is the filthy goat's womb, the breeder of the devil's spawn. She is mine, my blood, my treasure. Now neither the devil nor filthy men may touch her. For I have smitten her sinful flesh, mixed her beauty with dust. How could it be how she came back, born by the sinful hole her body turned to? Ugh, ugh. She whispers to me, promising we'll be together always. They hanged me, their father, but not for long. That night I was born again by my dear daughter. Spoofums. Oh, no way! Fuck! We're gonna save. Oh, damn it. This is in good shape and ready to use. I want to use it. Ah, this is in good shape and ready to use. Now what? What? Are they? Fuck no! Oh. Okay, so we have anything up here. Didn't look like we got anything. So I guess we're all on. Make sure you get every scrap. We don't want anyone reading these while we're down there. Okay. Don't wait. I'll catch up to you. Take them to the crematorium. We'll destroy them before we dive. Okay, like it's a missing one. Oh, it's way up there. Okay, I didn't miss one. The stars are aligned, and a new turn of the cycle begins. 
The time has come to return to the mother's womb, and we shall be reborn, brothers and sisters. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Uh, this one seems very complicated. What was, what was, uh, what's this one? Make sure you get every scrap. We don't want anyone reading these while we're down there. Um... This one. The stars are aligned, and a new turn of the cycle begins. The time has come to return to the mother's womb, and we shall be reborn, brothers and sisters. This one. Make sure you get every scrap. We don't want anyone reading these while we're down there. This one. Take them to the crematorium. This one. Don't wait. I'll catch up to you. A group of fanatics based in the Redemption Church got rid of several bodies all the documents they could and dived. Records taken by the cultists are oh, my only hope of discovering great groups. So there's more evidence to find. Okay, so uh, we're going to save. We go. Like the sunken city, shit. Same cutscene that played before. So, it's lights away. I'd hardly say it's a big load. Do I not go up this way? Okay, this is weird. Like, I'm not quite sure what's going on here.
because it looks like I'm supposed to I didn't do shit either. Okay, so there's something here we need to find because, like, I don't know. Okay, okay, so it is. It's just buggy. Because I was I was pressing the vault button, but it wasn't let me do anything. So you just have to be in a very specific spot. It looks like. See, it doesn't let me vault here, but it lets it lets me vault there. Okay. We just lit. We just a little bit buggy, guys. Glad those man eating eels aren't here. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Yep, yep, yep. Fuck that is, but I don't like it. Hey, you. Piss. Oh. Piss on you. Fuck this. Oh. Don't worry, we're, we're just uh, we're evil places, guys. Evil places. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Sweet. Man with a plan. Like I said, no mystery to cock up, so... Fucking church, the old gods here. Aloha. Why are you here? You look like a fresh wound. Yeah, well, you're no 
of oil painting yourself, fella. Imbecile. Strike us down and many more will rise. Fresh from the feckin' mother's womb. Slick, naked, yet burgeoning with strength. Our eyes infest this city. Our hands, too. We fill young Graham with our words, and soon he will be hollow. What was that about young Graham? His house is divided. It cannot stand. The young will secede the old, as new shoots rise from decay. Our growth shall choke the sun. The veins we open will seed crimson blossoms. The feckin' mother grants new life. You should have stayed above. What the fuck is that thing? Oh my god. Ouch. Well, I mean, this, this is a. Uh, this is more what I'm used to. I don't think I'm hurting it. Um, no. I'm not sure it's a good idea to be walking on this, but whatever. Alright, there we go. I didn't know we need to shoot all the, uh... Let's try doing that again. Let's load... Is it this one? Let's try loading this one. We're just gonna try and kill the monster this time around. Rather than the people. We're gonna we're gonna kill the assholes who are fucking attack us, but maybe the other guys are a waste of ammo. We'll see. Um, it's clearly not this one. Load the save before. 
it. I know you guys don't want to see me redo stuff all the time, but um, I wasn't sure if it was just a straight up damage fight. It is a straight up damage fight, but it's let's go back to this one. Cause I would like to lessen the amount of ammo I'm using. Even though we could just fucking grind it out. Right. So that was this one then? Uh, you know I ain't fucking worth it. Screw it. We'll just accept the loss on the ammo and grind out. Right. Right. Um. Be the daughter of the woods, so she devours the flesh. Ah. Okay. A mortal man is allowed to touch the womb of life. Man is allowed to be reborn in a new form. A mortal man will gain a thousand faces, a thousand eyes, and a thousand swords for his life. So I'm guessing, like, a basic thing just makes a younger copy of yourself. Oh, well, looks a bit. Son to get rid of his father and all the streets of the children go. This is our wishes. What you making, kid? Got anything to eat? I'm I'm hungry. Wait, are these all the same fucking guy? Got anything to eat? I'm Ooh. There's a number of copies. Interesting. Yeah, I know I've got to go to Mine Palace. I'm just looking around first. Thank you for letting me know that. Yeah, let's go to Mine Palace.
Graham is the only one who tried to take Bruce. Yeah, I think Graham will be able to stand firm against the coldest. Like, he's clearly uh, a very good man. I, on I honestly, uh, his father complains about him being weak, but his father has been unable to change him to his own ends. So why would he uh, be bullied by... Uh, coldest essentially and there's one quick way to get yourself some uh, good old deep vein thrombosis Oh, good daylight. Right, so what are we doing now? Uh, well, let's first, we're going to go to... Uh I'm gonna go to Carpenter Manor. We're gonna talk to Graham. Get get his uh, get his good old side of the story, shall we? Ferris wheel. But no, this game's great because it means like I can play through this fucking again and get something completely different. Because like it, there's so many different variations. You're just a what cool. you making, kid? Interesting. Tell me why you tried to kill your father. What? What are you talking about? I know all about your plan. I have proof. Just level with me. I... I knew you weren't just a worker. Look, I'm not proud of what I did. He's my father. But he was a terrible, terrible man. 
Crime has always been my family's business. I want to change that. I want to help people. But he will never stand for it. So that's how it is. My father sent you here. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. I'm Charles Reed. I can change this city, Mr. Reed. But to do that, I must be the head of the Carpenter family. I need to have that influence. I'll pay you if you need. But please, listen to your conscience. Brutus will not change. He harms so many, he must die. Yeah, you're right. You can count me in. <sighs> Thank you. You've made the right choice, Mr. Reed. Goodbye. Ooh, oh damn! Okay, this is uh... Come on, Reed. Gotta go talk to the old man. He ain't gonna like this. Also, don't know if I got enough ammo. I guess we'll work that one out. Oh, he really ain't gonna like this. He ain't gonna like it. Um. This place looks so nice during the day, doesn't it? Okay, here we go, we're gonna save. By the way, we just, we just, uh, you know, if Shik Niggerath or whatever the fuck its name was. Excuse me, boys, I need such as a fucking. I'm gonna loot, loot all your shit so we can fucking... Just to reaffirm that he's uh, an evil sack of shit. Shots to put your ass down if I need to. A little blackmail, a little larceny, a worthwhile scrap or two. Yeah, Just like the old top days. marks for quantity, but so much for quality. Even my gear's in better shape.
Okay, you evil sack of shit. Funny thing. I found a dead woman in your basement. Now, I don't suppose you had your men kill her. Quiet, you! You're scaring Mary. Look, she didn't die by my order, kid. Take my word for it. And the guilty have already been severely punished. Look, I have my shortcomings, but I don't hurt women or kids. Really? Because the, 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 dude, the, dude, the dude who killed her is, like, standing right fucking next to me. I know who's behind the attempt on your life, Mr. Carpenter. And? Don't make me wait, kid. You know, I met your son. I think it's time for a change in leadership. <laughs> Yeah, I knew, I knew this was gonna break out into a fucking fight. That's why I was just like, eh. Pieces of shit. I could have seen the look on they, those guys' faces. Hey, boys, we're at. Man, what's this? I can't imagine it ended well for whoever lost all this blood. He ain't gonna give a shit. It was the right thing to do. But it really was, you know what I mean? Like. Fucking just killed a fucking innocent family for crying out loud. Yeah, even the ugliest monsters have the most vulnerable hey, spots. Like all those guys that just killed the fucking head. Okay, you better not well shit. You better not well shit, son. I'm telling you. Your father is dead, Mr. Carpenter. You're the head of the family now. This brings me no joy. But thank you. You made the right choice. A noble choice, despite what it entailed. I had to kill my father twice. I had to ask you to stain your hands, too. But the guilt isn't yours. I take the blame entirely. It's all right, Mr. Carpenter. Now, will you help me? Of course I will. I'm in your debt. Thank you once again. Goodbye.
Yay! Man, I hope another fight ain't gonna break out. I don't, I don't think I've got the ammo for another one. Not right now, anyway. I need to grind out a little bit first. Woman who got like fucking molested by a fish man. Yeah, lovely citizen and poison a bunch of fish. We're 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 playing this a bit like a train wreck. That's okay. I feel like I'm I'm trying my best to make make some of the correct decisions. Um, that and that's that's the thing is is the correct decision isn't always the easiest one to make. Especially in this fucking situation, my god. Fred was down here, right? It's done, Fred. The carpenters will be getting in touch soon. Now, do you have something for me? Oh, perfect. All right, listen up. I've arranged a meeting with a certain high ranking member of the EOD. His name is Ebenote Blackwood. I haven't had the pleasure. Anything I should know about him? Ebernote is a preacher at the fish market, and a high-ranking priest within the order. Very knowledgeable, and very dangerous if you cross him. So I recommend that you don't cross him. Follow me so far? Gotcha. Keep talking. If the order knows something, it's a good bet that Ebernote does too. If they have your professor, he knows where she's being kept. I'll give you the address of the meeting place. He'll be expecting me, not you. So keep your wits about you. All right. Thanks, Fred. Good luck and safe travels. Thanks. I need it. Hmm. Okay, so... Costume unlocked, gangster. Yeah, look, we have a look at that. I know I said I wouldn't change my outfit, but I mean, an outfit's called fucking gangster. Well, I mean, come on, come on, guys. Have to forgive me on that one, right? We we's gonna be gangster, man. We can at least have a look at it. I don't know if I'll wear it, depends on what it looks like. I can't remember which one that is. <clears throat> We're gonna go to uh, Devil's Hotel, which is here. She's just down the road, so I feel like a bit of a plebeian for fucking just fast traveling here, but whatever. We also do need to grind out more ammo as well, because we're fucking way out. We're way out of the ammo. Wait, what's that? Five out of five. Five out of five. <laughs> Fucking pokey shit. What the fuck? Boom. We got a new gun, guys. Yeah, we don't even need to upgrade that shit. The rifle sounds like something that's gonna be pretty fucking powerful anyway. Gangster. It's a nice suit, but... Uh, I prefer that.
That's that's a nice outfit. Honestly, my uh, favourite outfit is newcomer. Is it, it, re it really, really is? You know what I mean? Just. So this is clearly just uh, the effects we're having on the city generally. Um, interesting. That. Right, I, I feel we're in a, probably in an actually a good spot to leave off. Um, we got a we got a nice new we got a nice new gun. And uh, next time we will will be back, and I'll, I will fully load up my ammunition for the stream, uh, just because it's better to do that. I feel, but we're we're going to come back here, and uh, then we'll be doing probably the next case. I'd imagine we got some side cases, but I I, I do want to focus on some of the main quests, because um, as this main story progresses, it seems we unlock more side cases. So. I do want to do those letters though, but I don't think it's going to be as interesting as a lot of things. But uh, uh, until next time, guys, you know, uh, yeah, um, until next time.